Hello guys, welcome to the second part of the Smart India Hackathon series. In this video, we are going to cover all the questions which you ask in the comment section of this first part of the video. So I make this first part and cleared all the my journey like uh, Smart India Hackathon registration and forming the team, forming the PPT, creating and submitting the PPT and how you can uh, present your presentation in the internal hackathon and what are the advantages if you prepare your presentation like this and like that and what points you have to include in your presentation and PPT. So all these points are covered in this first part of the video. If you haven't watched it, I fully recommend that watch this video and in this video, I'm going to clear all the questions like what after the internal hackathon and what is the further process and how 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 they select the team and all the questions which you ask in this comment section i will answer all this video so this video is also very very helpful so watch this video till end so first of all let's understand the process so first thing is that if you have want to participate in the smart india hackathon you have to register your team in the college internal hackathon and after your internal hackathon is around the 30th september like you have to submit your internal hackathon uh, presentation or the registration or nomination of your team before the 30th september 2023 so 30th september 2033 is the last date for the nomination of your team in the internal hackathon okay so college will tell you that when uh, you have to come and uh, give the presentation on the internal hackathon and everything you don't have to worry about the dates and everything college will take the responsibility of all that so before jumping on the conclusion of selection you just have to remember that every college has the options or the criteria to select the teams for example in my college there is a criteria of 30 team selection like they have to select 30 teams from the for the hackathon or you can say that they have have to send 30 teams from their college so the participating team in your colleges are very less like 10 20 30 teams are uh, participating in then you just have to relax you you are already nominated for the uh, process so what is this process so first of all if you are giving the internal hackathon in the colleges and if you are selected in the criteria like 30 teams 20 teams if you are under that criteria you have to log in your credentials uh, to submit your teams in the in the nomination of smart india hackathon so first of all this process is a bit hectic but not very complicated when you are selected in the internal hackathon uh, the college will contact you and tell you that come on the college register your team in the website so you have to go in the college and then they will uh, provide you the login id password of the single point of contact and then you have to log in uh, through the email id password which, which will they provide you after logging the email id password there is a form which you have to fill from your team as a team leader so you have to fill all the details like your team members your ideas your email id phone number and there are many things you have to fill on this form uh, this process is a bit hectic because there are many things you have to consider after while submitting the form because there are many problem statements you have to select the problem statement which you are focusing on so and teachers and all the other coordinators will help you to pro fill this form so don't worry about the process and after after uh, just submitting the form you have to freeze your sheet like there is an option called freeze freeze means you have you just like our admission process while, while we are in the 12th grade we are our admission from the graduation we have to freeze our sheet like we have to reserve our sheet that this freeze i freeze this problem statement and i free and i freeze my team in the list so you have to freeze this process so they will tell you all the details you don't have to worry about what is freeze and what is not they just tell you that login and submit the form and then freeze your sheet so after the freezing your sheet you received one email so I just showed you the email that I received and there is a login ID password from the team leader so if you are a team leader then you will receive this uh, email on your mail which you which you provided in the SPOC's dashboard so after so after freezing you receive this email and in this email you already have the login ID and password so again you have to go on the uh, uh, smart in hackathon website and logged in and logged in again from these credentials so these credentials of a team leader you have to log in it on the website and after login it uh, there is a form uh, that you have to fill your problem statement so the problem statement which you are working on is is submitted only by the team leader so the problem statement which you have to fill is only filled by the team leader not the single point of contact so after receiving the email id and password you have to log in it and fill your all problem statement details and uh, the uh, summary of the problem statement you have to elaborate that what is your problem statement what is you're working on also you can also uh, provide the text tag and everything there is uh, some optional things and there are compulsory things though uh, 
the more things you fill the more advantage you get so fill all the details you necessary you and you know that all the details so first of all if you receive the call from your college that come and uh, do the registration process just take a single paper with you and uh, write few things on the paper like abstract of your idea problem statement because when you are filling the form you don't have to think about the what i what will i have to write so first of all make one notes and make one paper page with you to just or just write on your notepad that what you have to what is your problem statement and describe your problem statement describe your solution so and don't think on the spot just think before you are entering the for the registration process so after filling that form you have to upload your ppt so this is the process and this is the moment you have to upload your original ppt which you have to represent in the internal hackathon you have to submit it on that particular form or that particular segment so you have to put that ppt and again i am saying you that please make sure that your ppt is well crafted make the ppt just like i told you in the last video so many of you guys asking me for my ppt in the comment section so me and my team are just not ready to share our own ppt before the selection because you know that many people are if they copied our ppt so chances of our uh, selection is getting less i know that you are uh, really want to know about my ppt but uh, there is some uh, pressure on me as well so if you want to know my ppt that in last video i gave a presentation and behind me there is my ppt so if you haven't watched it watch the last video and watch my presentation i when i giving the presentation on my backside there is our ppt so and i know that this that ppt is not visible clearly but you can uh, definitely uh, know the layout of the ppt and by the layout you can definitely make your own ppt as well so this is the current update of my particular journey and after this i will tell you that what is the further thing like what after the internal hackathon so for that i am referring the official document of the sing uh, smart india hackathon so guys as you can see on the screen this is the official documentation of the smart india hackathon this is the guideline and process flow of the smart india hackathon so in this process see this is the uh, SPOC registration. SPOC means single point of contact. This single point of contact is the teacher or the uh, group of teacher which uh, can help you regarding to the Smart India Hackathon in your college. And if you have any doubt regarding your process or regarding anything in uh, to the Smart India Hackathon, you can definitely contact to this SPOC. So registration process is simple. You have to uh, simply uh, register with the Smart India Hackathon, and I I hope that you uh, complete this registration process in the month of August uh, only. See. the 35 teams we are 30 teams which we shortlisted and five teams on the waitlisted are selected uh, in your colleges in the internal hackathon so this uh, 35 teams are definitely are have to select and the college have to select this a uh, number of teams so you don't have to worry about your internal hackathon selection you will definitely select if you have any any project you can definitely win uh, the internal hackathon don't worry about it there are two options like mentors which you can which help you to uh, do this processes these mentors are any anyone uh, like other than your colleges or teachers or any software engineer sitting in uh, sitting in dubai or sitting <laughs> sitting in bangalore or any so sitting in any remote area don't worry about it the mentors can help you to build your project and many students are help get help from the paid mentors like they can uh, build the project and help you uh, while in the hackathon so that's the little uh, trick you have to play you have to select one mentor which uh, will know how to build a project and they will help you through the video call or uh, chat message or call they will definitely provide you the solution of your problem statement so you don't worry about the making or building things you can hire the mentor and uh, do your project but after the nomination of this process see there is the idea of nomination uh, spoc register have uh, started in the august see i can tell you i tell you that the august in the august month you have to register for the internal hackathon and before the 30th september you have to uh, nominate your team uh, in the spoc portal so so today's date is 28 september and after the two days the uh, registration process from the spoc is uh, will get ended so submit your all credentials before 30th september and it is mandatory and compulsory idea submission counter will start from august 2023 and only 500 ideas will be submitted from the particular ps problem statement once the ca counter got uh, got all 500 ideas the particular problem statement will get freeze and no idea submission will be allowed for a uh, repair ha so so the point is so every every idea has the counter like they, if there is a limit that 500 idea only submitted for that this is not only 500 idea is big thing so if your problem statement if you see that your problem statement is get freeze it means that the counter is uh, getting more than or up to 500 so you ha you have to uh, find a another problem statement the next point is nominated teams team leader will get the login credentials after spoc is uploaded team details in the portal to complete the idea submission process so as far now i uh, 
received this login credentials and are logged in and uh, pro- uploaded all my uh, details and team details ppt on this particular uh, spoc's portal so so i done this process as far now so after that this is one this is the most 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 important uh, thing so first of all idea selection criteria so this is the process that after the internal hackathon so this is the question many guys ask me that what after the internal hackathon so listen carefully post idea submission process the ideas will be evaluated by experts evaluation criteria will be include the novelty of ideas complexity clarity and details in the pre described format uh, feasibility practical practicality sustainability success, uh, scale of impact user experience and potential for future work progression okay so this is the point where these are all the points which you have to include in your ppt include in your summary include in your project description which they can read and qualify you for the upcoming rounds and what are the rounds you can see further in the ppt uh, you can see the further in the documentation but listen carefully after submitting your ppt they will check these all these points so all these points are necessary and included in your project so so keep in mind include all these topics or all these details in your ppt or description don't miss any of one of the points in that in that particular because this is the selection criteria this is the selection criteria of your ppt you have to include these things so just take it in mind so after your selection or after your ppt or your project got selected you, there is a mode of hackathon so in uh, so sih will be held offline at various uh, nodal centers across plan across pan india and teams uh, have to travel to their respective nodal centers the tentative days uh, for the hackathon is second or third week of november so in the second or third weeks of november you have to travel across any city they provide you and on also they can manage your all expense of traveling so don't worry about the expense so this is the process you have to travel uh, around any city which they provide and make your project uh, there so the tentative dates are second or first or third week of november so keep in mind and keep your schedule likewise so this is the overall process and after that shortlisted idea announcement so this shortlisted idea announcement is the very 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 crucial point so please 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 uh, stay focus and just listen that notifications about selection teams will be put up on our portal and will be sent on their respective email id so if you are selected so they will pro- uh, provide you your all uh, information and be available for meeting sessions and training during the preparation phase you will notified ha huh. so you will notified all the training preparation all that and the next point is very very important around 4 to 5 teams per problem statements are selected to compete in grand finals so in grand finals there are 4 to 5 teams per problem statement so there are 500 problem statement around 400 or 500 and each problem statements have competed the 4 to 5 teams okay clear four to five teams per problem statement so if your problem statement is around tourism like my project uh, my problem statement is around tourism so there are four to five teams around the india which are compete for the problem statement tourism so this is the point many guys don't know so please understand and please read all the points they provide you in this document so there after that mentors eligibility there are any mentors industry mentors there are many things and you all know that and i will give you the suggestion go on the fiverr or upwork or any platform like internshala and hire the intern which we can hire a full stack developer. per they can uh, develop your project if they uh, if you have to give some money that i i think your idea it depends on you know it depends on your idea if your idea is very good then give some money because the price is 1 lakh and i hope that if you give few thousands rupees to that intern and they if they project got selected you earn a lakh so it's it's kind of all about the uh, project so i will not tell you that hire a lakh rupees intern on anything but think accordingly uh, i will definitely make a next video if i got selected or if i reached to this segments and i don't know that i i don't know and i don't have expect and you don't have to expect also don't expect anything from your team or any project this all thing is around luck if you have if you are lucky then you are selected if you are not then it's not yeah and yeah don't worry about the grand final and the t uh, prizes and uh, everything because uh, this is the very long term game and it is in the november so don't worry about it just focus on these particular things only this see 
दिस थ्री पॉइंट्स फोकस ऑन दिस थ्री पॉइंट्स ऑनली आइडिया सिलेक्शन क्राइटेरिया मोड ऑफ एकेथॉन एंड शॉर्ट लिस्टेड आइडिया मॉन्सेंट दिस थ्री थिंग्स आर ओनली इंपॉर्टेंट एज फॉर नाउ इफ यू आर सिलेक्टेड फॉर द ग्रैंड फाइनल्स और इफ वी कैन सिलेक्टेड फॉर द ग्रैंड फाइनल्स वी डेफिनेटली मेक अ नेक्स्ट थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स होप दैट वी ऑल आर सिलेक्टेड फ्रॉम द ग्रैंड फाइनल्स एंड लेट्स वोन दिस हैकेथॉन सो आई होप आई क्लियर एवरी डाउट और एवरी थिंग विच यू आस्क मी इन दिस कमेंट सेक्शन ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट प्लीज कमेंट कमेंट बिलो दिस वीडियो आई कैन डेफिनेटली I will answer each and every questions so don't worry about it ask freely also guys i have a fever so that's why i'm not making uh, much videos but i have i planned a one video on a october fest uh, did you know about october fest let me know in the comment and and the next video is on the october fest so just ready for that and subscribe my channel just watch all the videos which i am telling you and definitely you will get opportunity to all the software engineering field so guys if this video helps you the please like and comment below that you liked it and i will see you in the next video bye bye